Tonight, officials are making a point to talk about boating safety. As we know, it's spring break time. There's going to be a lot more people on our waterways, a lot more people on our beaches, and we need to keep in mind that our waterways are drastically different because of Hurricane Ian. This is going to be a difficult year, I think, certainly for spring break and for some folks that maybe are coming down on vacation that are not as familiar with our waters. Um, our waters have changed quite a bit in the past six months. Adam Brown with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission explains those changes include channel markers that may not be in the appropriate places or they're completely gone, as many channels and sandbars have shifted as well. There's still some debris in the water that we're fighting. So um, number one, just make sure that you educate yourself prior to being out on that boat. Brown says to constantly be aware. Similar to operating your vehicle on the roadway, you need to make sure that you're setting your cell phone down, uh, paying attention to the channel that you're in. It was just Sunday night around 10 p.m. when Sanibel Fire and Rescue District told us they responded to a 911 call where two boats collided, causing one to sink. Seven people were rescued. One was a 50 foot sailboat. Uh, the other was an approximate 30 foot fishing vessel. Um, the sailboat itself was anchored um, outside of the channel um, and on the the incoming vessel uh, didn't see it struck it. This comes three weeks after investigators say a vessel sank after it hit the base of the Cape Coral Bridge. Obviously with the boat traffic and our waters changing so drastically with the hurricane uh, just being just knowing that some of these waters that we were originally used to may not be the same. Uh, so we just need to be very careful and cautious. Tonight, officials tell me the boat crash from Sunday night is still under investigation. Captain Di Maria tells me the seven individuals who were on that 30 foot fishing boat had to be taken to Moss Marina to be medically evaluated. Here in Lee County, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.